So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here and welcome to another three minutes of microscopy and today I want to show you a flatworm. A flatworm, these are tiny microscopic worms, well actually some of them can be seen of course also with the unaided eye and some marine species can be surprisingly large but I found this tiny flatworm in my jar of pond water that I had standing on my table now for I would say several weeks already. I've taken a pipette I've withdrawn some of the water, especially the slimy material is a good place for decomposers to grow and this is where I found this flatworm. Initially I thought it's quite a nice little calm little critter but then I watched it for a few minutes and saw it hunt for food and then I was a little bit surprised how aggressive it was. For example here it was engaging in a little fight uh, with a ciliate. Well flatworms they themselves of course, uh, wants to move around quite rapidly and smoothly and they do not only use the muscles to do that but they themselves also have tiny hair cilia growing on, on their surface. Well, and the flatworm here was simply moving through the algae and simply looking for food and uh, every now and then it moved into one direction then it uh, turned back. I think it was really searching around until it found something suitable for um, eating. However, in this case here the flatworm actually passed by a rotifer and it simply ignored it. I was actually surprised by that a little bit but maybe this, uh, the flatworm was able to sense that rotifers are not a good source of food for whatever reason. Here however the flatworm opened its mouth very rapidly and was able to inhale, inhale is not the right word to use, ingest, that's the correct term, to ingest uh, the cell that it was able to catch. And here again it continued to move along and then it continued to catch again some other cells that it found and then usually what they do is after the process of digestion then they usually spit out the rest again, yeah, from the same place that they used to take it in. Here for example it tried to devour a vorticella which is a ciliate, a single cell ciliate but it was way too large and the flatworm was not successful in eating it up and uh, it tried again a few minutes later but still it was not successful so it simply moved away um, and uh, then returned again after a few minutes, tried again but then gave up um, after some time. Flatworms show a very coordinated movement and uh, this also illustrates uh, that the flatworms have a nervous system and um, as a matter of fact are also a very simplified brain already but they do not have uh, lungs and therefore they take in the oxygen and give off carbon dioxide over the surface of the body. I think for today that's enough again. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.